you want weight loss isn't just because of weight loss, but let me tell you what it really means to get that weight loss that you're looking for. So why do you want weight loss? To lose inflammation, to balance your blood sugar, to reset your metabolism, and to improve your health markers. That's why it's important to lose the weight. Sometimes we forget why we're overweight, why we're gaining weight, and gaining weight is a symptom of being unhealthy. So that's what I want to talk about today. And thank you for joining me. And one of the things I want to tell you um, as you're coming in here is that I'm hoping to do these lives more daily so that you get more information and hanging out with like-minded people when we get empowered and we share this knowledge because I'm on a mission and I want you to understand what it is that you can do to be empowered with your body so that you get the health that you want to create. And it's not about getting lucky. It's not about if you're going to lose the weight, but when you get in action, when you do the action, you will then have the weight loss, but you will also then have the healthier body that you want to create. And that's what we really want to focus on is how can we create the healthy body that we want to live with and reclaim the second half of our life if we're over 50 or get to the point where when we start to enter 50, we have the best health that we can have to be protected from the diseases of aging, which are lifestyle dysfunctions. And it's basically lifestyle dysfunction because of blood sugar elevations. And that causes so many problems in your ins with your insulin, with your pancreas inside your body. One of the things I'm excited to talk about today is to let you know that I've just kind of gone over one of my clients' retest. I did go over one of her retests. And what's really interesting to see is the improvement in her intestinal health markers, which is the goal of FDNs, is to really, is to test, not guess, find out what's going on in your body, and to find your weight loss blocks, your hidden healing opportunities, and then to correct that with diet, lifestyle, and the targeted supplementation so that you could dial in the health that you want to have. Yes, it's work. Yes, it's an investment. Yes, this is you. You're worth it because you're priceless. Don't you feel priceless? Don't you love your self-care when you get to go out and do something for yourself and get a staycation to take care of your body? That's what you do when you're at home, when you focus on taking care of yourself at home, when you're giving yourself self-care, when you're looking at your diet and you're tweaking it because, you know, you want to look at, you know, your body as what you can do to improve it. And the best thing that you can do to improve it is to look at your blood sugar. One of the things that I did this past weekend was to go to an FDN conference in San Diego, and it was a blast. And we were like kids in a candy jar because they gave us the CGMs to wear. So here's my CGM right here. So we could see our blood sugar. Oh my God, you guys, you need to find out more about this. I've just started following Dr. Ben. F8 is his, um, Dr. Ben G. He has Ben F8. Um, DM me in the comments if you want me to send you his link. But one of the but he has a book out, Blood Sugar Doesn't Lie. I just ordered it. I'm excited to read it. But one of the things he mentioned, which was super powerful, is rice is going to raise your blood sugar in everybody. Didn't guess you didn't think about that. Isn't that interesting? And when you're spiking your blood sugar up over 130, and if you're eating standard carbohydrates and sugar and even fruit, you're going to spike your blood sugar. And so it's good to know and have this as a tool to really empower yourself to understand that the food you're eating is it causing you to have blood sugar dysregulation and spiking your blood sugar because every time you spike your blood sugar too high out of the green zone specifically although dr ben said over 130 you're causing autoimmune damaged tissue every single time and so if you're living as a, in a pre-diabetic state or a di in a diabetic state and your blood sugars are always elevated. It's not how much insulin can you give yourself or what supplement can you take. It's what food can you eat to lower that response. Because the more you're eating carbohydrates, the more you're going to have trouble actually losing the weight. And so I've just scheduled a live interview for Thursday with Lisa Simmons, NP. And she is part of Dr. Avadia's team Fix Hearts. I Fix Hearts. Dr. Avadia is the doctor. He's got a podcast out that 
um, is stay off of my operating room table is one of the things that he says. And he's a cardiologist trying to keep people healthy. And this information is important to um, really get and to be empowered. And so Lisa and I are really going to discuss those skinny myths, the, the, um, the skinny narratives that really don't work. They keep you hungry. It's, you know, you're in a starvation. Your body is malnourished. You're not digesting your food and you're not getting the right amount of fat, soluble vitamins and protein to actually build up your body and get the nutrients you need to have better health. And so this is what we're going to talk about more. And we're really going to dive deep into it. We've been on a similar journey. Lisa and I have both been overweight, losing the weight, correcting our health, becoming keto specialist, and also losing the weight that everybody wants to have. But to lose the weight, and it, to lose the weight can be one side of this process, but can you keep it off permanently? And keeping it off permanently, we need to look at lifestyle. How can you actually create the lifestyle around in your environment and your food to stop the blood sugar dysregulation? And using a CGM is going to be a good tool for you to do that. And that's what I'm going to start offering my clients from now on is to get a CGM and for the first month and to really dial in the right diet for your body. Because I've even had an FTN that mentioned how sugar spiked her, you know, spiked her blood sugar well up over 200, not sugar, but fruit. So your each person's body is going to react in a different way. You might react to fruit, you might not, but you need to know which fruits you're reacting to, which foods you're reacting to, and then taking a food sensitivity test, which is what I have all my clients do, we get to actually tune into which foods your body is specifically having an antigen response to, which is so powerful to know to take out those foods for the first 30 days and for three months to six months to get your immune system to calm down. Because one of the things that I noticed in retests with my clients, especially if they had wheat um, after a certain amount of time, it's going to give you the information to know. Like if you raise your anti-gliadin marker in your intestinal health marker in the GI map, if that's raised and you raise in your immune system, you're getting an antigen response that can last for six months. And this is why you need to know if you're reacting to wheat. I mean, everybody really does react to wheat. How much are you reacting to it? And so these are some really good things to help you. These are the hidden weight loss blocks that are going to help you dial in the body and the health that you want to have so that you could correct the inflammation, correct your blood sugar markers, and actually get the weight loss you want to have. Now, I've got to remember, weight loss is a symptom of being unhealthy and how can we find those hidden healing opportunities and those weight loss blocks and really dial it in so that you could get healthy to lose the weight this year and starting for, you know, looking ahead to 2025 is let's get started. Let's get figuring this out. And so I wanted to kind of talk about over this week as I come on live daily is how you can get your weight loss. So if anybody has a question that they want to put down, or if you want to start DMing me in the future about questions you have, I'd love to answer them. So go ahead and leave a question in the comments now, or leave a question in the future that I can address going forward. Some of the things that I like to talk about, about, you know, getting started with weight loss is you got to remember you're addicted to your ultra processed foods. Those are chemicals in your body. You're addicted to the sugar. You're addicted to the wheat. Everybody is. Those hit our dopamine receptors and we need to turn those off, bank them down and get your body to the point where you could actually stop those um addictions so you don't crave them so that you can make diet and lifestyle changes and so that's part of the first things that you can do and one of the things I like to state is follow your food bridge the food bridge concept that's one of the things that I've created and I have some a recipe book I'm putting together but basically with food bridges kind of go from what the ultra processed foods might have been if this is what's really hard and you can't get off of those processed foods do them something similar satisfy your your body's cravings but keep it low carb so find a low carb version a low carb alternative without any wheat no wheat gluten that will sabotage you so don't get those cheap breads that have wheat gluten that say keto on them they are not keto if they have wheat in them so base culture unbun there might be some other ones you could make them yourself i've got a client that's making her own breads that's keeping her satisfied and on track and she feels good about it so don't worry about being perfect when you're getting started. Just get started. So the first thing to do is to really do some meal planning. 
and to write down what your vision is. Like what foods can you, that you like that you can make keto or make low carb so that you can be on track and be successful and maybe plan out a 30 day challenge, a 30 day trial. You got to get past this Thanksgiving. I mean, Halloween, don't eat the sugar. That's one of the things you really want to focus on. Don't put sugar in your mouth because you're going to get sabotaged. What you can do is get sugar-free products. They still could cause an insulin reaction because there's sweets taste, a sweet flavor in the mouth that can set off insulin, but it's not going to cause an insulin surge as much as real sugar does. It could still cause you to want to eat those foods, so you still want to eat them in moderation, but it's still better to have a sugar-free chocolate, make a keto cookie, make chocolate egg pudding that's been one of my specialties i've been making lately it's super fun just dm me if you want the recipe to that and um just keep it all low carb so if you start doing that and try to get off the ultra processed foods and start doing low carb alternatives you're going to be more successful to really start dialing in the weight loss that you want to have and another thing to do as well is instead of having the sugar even though fruit can raise your blood sugar it's still whole fruit. It has fiber. It's not as processed. It's better to eat the fruit than it is to eat the processed sugars. So go down to fruit. And if you could get your carbohydrates under 100 grams with your fruit and vegetables, eat as many, much vegetables as you want and start bringing in some good quality protein, some good quality fats. If you could do that to start getting your weight loss focused, you're going to get some success. And you don't you know, you want to get a cheerleader for yourself. You want to have somebody, get an accountability bar partner. Let them know what you're doing. You know, you need to reward yourself at the end of the week of how well you're doing. You want to you want to be grateful for what's happening every time you make a change. And, you know, let yourself know that you're proud of yourself. We need to always celebrate ourselves when we're doing something like this, when we're getting the results that we want to have and we want to stay on focus. Those are the things that we really want to focus on. And so some of the ways to really get started with the weight loss is get those carbohydrates under 100, go down to fruit, start using the food bridge concept and make everything that you're com that foods that you like and make them low carb, make them keto. And that's going to make a difference. And if you, you know, if you need a gift from somebody, you want somebody wants to give you something, you really want to take charge, you want to get a CGM and follow Dr. Ben F8 here on Instagram, and let me know in the comments if you want me to link him to you so that you can really find out more about autoimmune disease, about Hashimoto's, about what's going on in your body, about what it is that you need to do to focus on, because we all need to be together in this mission that we're on to help empower each other, to help empower the world, to fix the care system we have, and to actually have a healthcare system. But this healthcare system starts with you and it starts in your own home and the medical system can't give it to you. So that's where you need to really be empowered to understand that you have the control of what you put in your mouth. And if you are having problems with stopping the foods that are addictive, that's where you want to just look at the food bridge concept and make it all low carb so that you could be satisfied. And this is not about fasting at this point. This is about having three meals a day. And eating to satiation, but bringing in your fats and your proteins and your natural fats are going to come from coconut and animal fat and avocado. So the um, fruit oils, olive oil and natural animal fats have kept us healthy and, and safe with our diet for hundreds of years. It's when they took away these natural fats and when they took away those natural fats and your natural protein, what did they give you instead? They gave you too much sugar. They told you to eat too many grains and gave you too much wheat to eat. And they took away the natural protective effects of protein and fat and told you to eat seed oils. So now we have damaged health. We're overweight as, a, as a, a nation, as a species. And if you look at how we're living, we're living in a captivity like zoo animals because we're not in the environment that we were designed for. We have, we're not getting out grounding, we're not getting our sunlight, and we're not eating the right diet for our body. And when you look, take in all of those factors, then you can start to kind of graft and make a vision and make a goal of what you can do to protect yourself, to get yourself to the other side so that you could start aging more healthily. And I wanted to, guys, let you know, again, if those of you who've come on late, I do have a live interview with Lisa Simmons from, from Dr. Ovadia's team. She's a um, natural um, an NP, 
and she's also a keto specialist and she's been on her own journey. We're going to have this great skinny myths and the narratives about what doesn't work and what does work. Eat more fat to lose weight is going to be what the um, talk is going to be about, but all it's going to be so much more. Because you're going to get two people who've been on this journey, who've come out of the other side on fire and bronzed and just on a mission to empower you to actually look at what you can do to change your lifestyle to be healthy. And that's what we're going to talk about Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific on um, we're going to live stream to YouTube. And I hope you can make it. So I have posted in my stories already a link that you could actually go to YouTube and actually get um, tag it there and you can actually be um connected to YouTube so that they'll remind you when we come in on live. And also I have my next webinar, Slender Over 50, The Holistic Path to Healthy Aging is going to be November 3rd at 4 p.m. Pacific. So that's my next one. And I hope you can join me. And I am going to, after this is over, I'm going to also link that here so you could start signing up for that. And I'm super excited to talk more about that and um, really empower you. And I want to show up every day. That is my goal. Is This is my mission. This is my pain to purpose and my passion to let every person know, every woman over 50, so that we can get out there and empower our daughters and our granddaughters to be healthy. Because if we're not getting healthy at every step along the way, the next generations become unhealthy. And so we need to stop that now so that our great, great grandchildren can be healthier. And it starts with us. It starts with us empowering our grand, our daughters to empower our granddaughters and our grandsons to be healthier so that we can recreate a new generation of healthier children because there's, they need help. We all need help. We need to stand together and get this information out. And so... Why do we want weight loss? We want weight loss, again, to lose that inflammation, to improve our health. It's not always going to be just, you know, let me, how, how can I lose weight no matter what? You have to look at your blood sugar. We have to manage blood sugar. If you can't get your blood sugar down, you're not going to be able to figure out how to lose the weight and you're not going to get permanent weight loss. And so let's age beautifully and adventurously and let's get this going and s send me your DMs in the, in the bottom of this text or this uh, live, and let me know what you want me to address so that I can support you more thoroughly. And I hope to come on live every day between noon and one. I'm trying to dial in the exact time. It's going to be closer to 1230. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.